Hi guys, welcome to the video. Um, as you can see, I've got a camera set up looking at my screen and me on a different camera. Uh, and this will all make sense in a minute when we switch over. But what the point of this video is, is to explain to you how you can record lessons onto video, send them home to students, have students work through interactive slides using Pear Deck, and then have a live Google Meet hang out with them on Fridays so that you can answer questions, do live tutorials, and that sort of thing. Keep your contact with the students uh, while we are doing the distance learning, e-learning, whatever we're calling it now uh, situation. So let's dig into this. So here we have my Google Drive, uh, just my normal Google Drive. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to actually find, so I'm gonna open up the lesson that I'm wanting to teach. And it's gonna be a Google Slides presentation, not a PowerPoint presentation. If it's a PowerPoint uh, presentation, it's gonna have the PPT, PPTX out here beside the name. I want you to go to File and you'll have an option to save as Google Slides. You'll wanna do that in order to use the Pear Deck add-on. So I'm gonna to go to my add-ons and I am going to go to Pear Deck add-on and I'm gonna open it. Everybody in Anderson 3 has this add-on pushed out to their account automatically. If you see your face right here for your Anderson 3 account, Pear Deck should be an add-on for you here. If it's not, go down to get add-ons, search for Pear Deck and install it. You'll be able to install it. Now, once I have Pear Deck add-on open, I have a lot of options here. Please reference the how to use Pear Deck tutorial at this point if you're unsure how to use Pear Deck. I am gonna show you a little bit, uh, like our template library. You can do some bell ringers, some formative assessments, and then some exit ticket kind of things. Um, and then it's also broken down by subject. And so you can look in here and find pre-made content uh, from Pear Deck to use so you don't have to create everything from scratch. Some of it's already created for you and it's all interactive. So I've already actually added some Pear Deck slides to this. So I'm gonna actually present my lesson with Pear Deck and I'm gonna record it. So this is how we're gonna do that. So I've got my lesson made. I've got my Pear Deck interactions already put in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and record our lesson. So I'm gonna present my lesson with Pear Deck. I had to present here from the Pear Deck add-on, not here from the Google Slides, but present with Pear Deck. So now I'm in my teacher view of Pear Deck and it gives me my join code. Now, it would be a little bit hard to get kids to get this join code and then go to joinpd.com. So you have two options here. You can do give students a link, which will copy the link to a clipboard. And then all the you'd have to do is go into your Google Classroom, go to classwork, create an assignment, and then you would add a link and you would paste that link. And now you see where it's got the apps.pairdeck.com with the join code. It's gonna say sign in Google accounts, that's okay. If you see this link right here, which should look very similar to this link right here, then you know you're good to go. Also, you can go straight to Google Classroom. So you can invite your whole class. All you have to do is scroll down and click on the class that you want, invite the section, and now that section has been invited. So I think it's always good to get the link. So I'll copy the link and I'll go to my class and I'll go to classwork, create a new assignment. So I'm gonna tell them to watch the video and follow along while answering questions in the Pear Deck slides. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and add a link to our Pear Deck slides. So I'm gonna paste and add link. And like I said, as long as this link looks very similar to this link here, which it does, then I know I'm good to go. Now, I'm not gonna assign this yet because I still need to add in my video that I'm fixing to create. So I'm gonna go back to my session. Uh, there's no students. We know there's no students. There's not gonna be students, but we still wanna click through the Pear Deck slides. So I'm gonna close the Pear Deck screen, and now we are presenting, as we can see down here at the bottom. I'm gonna go through and I'm going to click on the three dots. Down here, we can do several things. 
the most important thing we're gonna do, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on student paste. And that will allow the students to click through the slides at their own pace. So that way they can go through the slides while they follow along with my video and then answer the questions at their own pace. So we turn on student paste, it tells the student paste is on, it gives us the link again. So if we forgot to do the link before, we have another chance to do the link. And I'm gonna say, okay, I got it. And now we're on student paste. But as the teacher, we can still click through this and we can still teach the material. So this is what I'm fixing to do. I'm gonna teach the material while I video this. Now the video is not turned on yet. We've got all our setup done. Now it's time to turn on the video. So I'm gonna go up here to my Screencastify extension and I'm gonna click on it. Now, if you've not gone through this before, be sure it's gonna ask you to sign in with Google. You'll have to go through those steps. You should be familiar with signing in with Google by now. Um, but once you're done with that, you should come back and click on it and it'll ask you to set up the microphone and cameras and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on set up microphone. It's gonna ask me to allow it. I allow it, the extension again, and you only have to do this the one time. I'm gonna, and see that enabled my microphone and my webcam. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my microphone. Now, if you have uh, more than one microphone or more than one webcam, uh, then you can choose those. But if you don't know anything about those, then don't worry about it. I'm also gonna enable drawing tools and all I have to do is click allow for that. And I'm gonna go back into my extension. And here I have a choice. I can do my, my desktop. So I'm recording my whole desktop with the Screencastify or I'm just recording a browser tab. If I am only going to be in this one browser tab, this one session, Pear Deck session, then I can choose browser tab and then it only records that browser tab. But if I'm going to go between one or two or three tabs, so if I'm teaching math and I'm using GeoGebra and I'm using uh, a Google Slides and then I'm using also uh, a graph picture that I have on a different tab, or if I have some PDFs that I need to pull up from different places to, to illustrate my point while I'm teaching, I would choose desktop. Now, if I want to set up my laptop so it's facing a whiteboard or a large piece of paper and I'm gonna teach as if I'm in front of the classroom, I can choose webcam only. And then it doesn't record my screen, it only records my webcam. But th in this case, I'm gonna choose browser tab because I'm only gonna be in this one browser tab. So I'm going to record and it's gonna give me A countdown and now you can see me down here uh, while I'm teaching so this is why I've got the multiple camera set up so you can actually see what I'm doing while I'm doing it while recording it so uh, you're down here if you're if you're gonna be in the way down here in this corner you can actually click and move yourself uh, anywhere you need to uh, if you need to make yourself full screen you can make yourself full screen and then by clicking this button again, you can make yourself tiny again. And we'll go ahead and teach the lesson. Now you can see when I click, there's a red circle that forms around my click. So that way your students see if you are clicking on something, then you know where it is and you know. Once we're done recording, we're gonna come up here to our Screencastify extension. We're gonna click on it again. And it's gonna say that our tab is being recorded and so what we need to do is stop it. So I'm gonna stop it, my picture of me goes away, and nothing happens for a second, and then it opens a new tab, and it says that your recordings are being saved. And it kinda of gives you a progress bar, and this is replaying your video, so you can kinda of watch it. Um, if you need to trim the beginning of it, you've got the trim button. If you need to trim the end of it, you've got the trim button. And so you can just click in and click in. And now I've trimmed the, the, the intro a little bit. I've trimmed the exit a little bit. That's about the extent of the editing you get to do um, in Screencastify. So I've got my progress bar over here. And once it gets full, I can share to Google Classroom or I can copy the shareable link. Uh, one thing that you're gonna need to remember to do is go to more options and change it from private to unlisted. I'm gonna go ahead and share it to Google Classroom as soon as it's done uploading. So once it's done uploading, it completely, the, the progress bar goes away, and now I can actually click on share to classroom. It's gonna ask me which class. I'll pick the class, new material, 
or create an assignment from here. But since I've already created the assignment, I'm gonna copy the shareable link. And then I'm gonna go back into my class where I've already put my instructions from the beginning and we put the Google, the Pear Deck in here already. I'm gonna add another link and I'm gonna paste. I'm gonna add the link. Either assign it or schedule it. Or we could just save it as a draft if we need to prepare some more materials to go along with it to attach later. So we are going to assign it. And now our classwork is here. So we can sign into the Pear Deck and we can watch our video. Now, one thing I will tell you, if I go to the video in my Google Drive right after I uploads, it sometimes won't be there yet. It's still processing. This one processed pretty quickly. It was uh, 16, almost 17 minutes uh, before I edited it down. Not too bad, but just know if there's a heavy demand on Google, then it could take a couple of, up to a couple of hours. Usually it takes five to 15 minutes or so for it to be processed and then students can access it. If a student needs to, they would open it up like this and then click this download button and that downloads the video to their device at which point they could then go home and watch the video from their device without the internet.